Imagine a lizard so large it was once mistaken for a dragon. With its massive size and fearsome appearance it's easy to see why early explorers were so captivated by this creature. This is the Komodo dragon, the largest living lizard on earth. Growing up to 10 feet in length and weighing over 150 pounds it truly is a giant among reptiles. Found only on a handful of Indonesian islands, the Komodo dragon is a powerful predator at the top of its food chain. These islands include Komodo, Rinka, Flores, Gili Motang, and Padar, each providing a unique environment for these incredible creatures. Its size, strength, and venomous bite make it a formidable creature inspiring both awe and fear. The Komodo dragon's saliva contains toxic bacteria and venom that can bring down prey with a single bite, making it an efficient and deadly hunter. In this exploration we journey to the islands of Komodo, Rinka, Flores, Gilimotang, and Padar. These islands are not just home to the Komodo dragon but also to a diverse array of flora and fauna, creating a rich and vibrant ecosystem. Our mission to uncover the secrets of the Komodo dragon to learn about its behavior, its interactions with other species, and its role in the ecosystem. To understand its life cycle, its hunting strategies, and how it has adapted to survive in such a harsh environment. From hunting techniques to mating rituals, every aspect of the Komodo dragon's life is a testament to its resilience and adaptability, and its vital role in the delicate balance of its island ecosystem. The Komodo dragon is not just a predator, but also a crucial part of the food web, helping to maintain the health and stability of its habitat. Join us as we delve into the world of this remarkable reptile, a true icon of the natural world. Through our journey, we aim to shed light on the mysteries of the Komodo dragon and highlight the importance of conserving its unique habitat for future generations. The Komodo dragon is an endemic species, meaning it is found only in a specific geographic location. Its home is a cluster of islands in Indonesia, part of the Lesser Sunda Islands chain. These islands, Komodo, Rinka, Flores, Gili Motang, and Padar, offer a unique combination of habitats that support the dragon's survival. The islands are characterized by their volcanic origin, resulting in a rugged terrain of hills, valleys, and dry riverbeds. The climate is hot and dry, with distinct wet and dry seasons. Vegetation ranges from open grasslands and savannas to tropical forests, providing a diverse landscape for the Komodo dragon to inhabit. The Komodo dragon is a sight to behold. Its massive size is its most striking feature with adult males reaching lengths of up to 10 feet and weighing over 200 pounds. Females are smaller but still formidable predators. Their bodies are covered in rough, scaly skin, providing protection from their harsh environment. Their powerful legs end in sharp claws, perfect for digging burrows and tearing into prey. Their long tails are used for balance and defense. But the Komodo dragon's most fascinating feature is its forked tongue, constantly tasting the air for prey, mates, and even carrion from miles away. The Komodo dragon is an apex predator, meaning it sits atop the food chain with no natural enemies. This formidable reptile is known for its sheer size, strength, and unique hunting abilities that make it a dominant force in its ecosystem. They are primarily carnivorous, feeding on a variety of prey, including deer, pigs, water buffalo, and even smaller Komodo dragons. Their diet is diverse, and they are not picky eaters, often consuming carrion when the opportunity arises. Their hunting strategies are a combination of stealth, power, and a venomous bite. The venom in their saliva contains toxins that lower blood pressure, cause massive bleeding, and prevent clotting, ensuring that their prey succumbs to their attack. Komodo dragons are ambush predators, patiently waiting for their prey to come close before launching a surprise attack. They often position themselves near trails or watering holes, where animals are likely to pass by. They use their keen sense of smell to detect prey from afar, their forked tongues flicking in and out to pick up scent particles in the air. This highly developed sense allows them to track down animals over long distances, sometimes up to several miles away. Once they have located their target, they lie in wait, camouflaged by their surroundings, until the opportune moment to strike. Their patience and ability to blend into the environment make them highly effective hunters, capable of taking down prey much larger than themselves. Section 5 Venom A Dragon's Secret Weapon For years, scientists believed that the Komodo dragon's bite was deadly due to the bacteria in its saliva. This belief stemmed from the observation that animals bitten by Komodo dragons often succumb to severe infections. While it's true that their mouths are teeming with bacteria, 
Recent research has revealed a more complex truth. Scientists have discovered that the Komodo dragon's bite is not just a result of bacterial infection. Komodo dragons possess venom glands located in their lower jaw, which inject a potent cocktail of toxins into their prey. These toxins include anticoagulants that prevent blood clotting and compounds that lower blood pressure. This venom, though not always immediately lethal, weakens the prey, causing a rapid drop in blood pressure and inducing shock. The prey animal becomes lethargic and disoriented, making it easier for the Komodo dragon to overpower it. The wounded animal, weakened and disoriented, becomes easy prey for the Komodo dragon, which can track its scent for miles as it slowly succumbs to the venom's effects. This unique hunting strategy allows the Komodo dragon to take down animals much larger than itself, showcasing its prowess as a top predator in its environment. Section 6, Guardians of the Ecosystem, the Komodo's Role As apex predators, Komodo dragons play a crucial role in maintaining the delicate balance of their island ecosystems. They help regulate prey populations, preventing overgrazing and competition for resources. Their scavenging habits also contribute to a healthy ecosystem by removing carcasses and preventing the spread of disease. Their presence, though seemingly fearsome, is essential for the overall health and biodiversity of their island homes. The Komodo dragon, far from being a monster, is a vital component of a complex web of life, ensuring the stability of its fragile environment. Section 7. Threats to a Dragon Conservation Concerns Despite their fearsome reputation, Komodo dragons are facing an uncertain future. Their limited geographic range makes them particularly vulnerable to threats, both natural and human-induced. Habitat loss due to deforestation and human encroachment is a major concern as it reduces the dragon's hunting grounds and disrupts their breeding cycles. Climate change also poses a significant threat, as rising sea levels could inundate their coastal habitats, further shrinking their already restricted range. Poaching and the illegal wildlife trade also present ongoing challenges to the survival of these magnificent creatures. Section 8. Protecting the Dragon's Conservation Efforts Recognizing the plight of the Komodo dragon, conservationists and the Indonesian government have implemented various measures to protect this iconic species. Komodo National Park, established in 1980, encompasses the islands of Komodo, Rinka and Padar, providing a sanctuary for the dragons and their prey. Strict anti-poaching patrols, habitat restoration programs and community education initiatives are all part of the ongoing efforts to safeguard the Komodo dragon's future. International collaborations and research projects are also underway to better understand the dragon's biology, behavior, and the threats it faces, paving the way for more effective conservation strategies. Section 9. The Komodo Dragon in Culture the Komodo dragon, with its prehistoric appearance and formidable reputation, has captivated the human imagination for centuries. Local communities on the Indonesian islands have long coexisted with the dragons, weaving them into their folklore, myths, and rituals. The dragons are often seen as ancestral spirits or guardians, and stories of their power and intelligence have been passed down through generations. The arrival of explorers and scientists in the 20th century brought the Komodo dragon to global attention, solidifying its status as a symbol of the world's remarkable and unique biodiversity. Section 10. Myths and Legends, Dragons of Lore The Komodo dragon's resemblance to mythical dragons is undeniable and fascinating. It's easy to see how ancient mariners, encountering these giant reptiles on remote islands, might have woven tales of fire-breathing monsters and legendary beasts of old. The Komodo dragon, though lacking the ability to breathe fire, possesses a mystique and power that has earned it a place in the annals of both science and mythology. Its story serves as a reminder of the incredible diversity of life on Earth and the importance of protecting the planet's most extraordinary creatures for future generations. Section 11. Conclusion. The Future of the Dragon. The Komodo dragon stands at a crossroads. Its future, like that of many endangered species, depends on our collective action. By supporting conservation efforts, reducing our impact on the environment, and raising awareness about the plight of these magnificent creatures, we can help ensure that the Komodo dragon continues to roam its island domain for generations to come. 
let us remember that the fate of the Komodo dragon is intertwined with our own. By protecting this iconic species, we are not only preserving a unique piece of our planet's natural heritage, but also safeguarding the delicate balance of life on Earth.